Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Mr. Fight TV, and in this video, I want to talk about the phrase "you don't know nothing about boxing." I I notice that a lot of people say that once somebody don't agree to what they are saying. I've seen it on YouTube, boxing scene, and other boxing websites where you can leave a comment. I've wanted to do a video about this for some time now, but I never got around to doing it. Now there are some people on here that absolutely don't know anything about boxing, and there are some that actually do. Okay, so I'm gonna break the phrase down. So when you say this, you can be talking about two things. Not knowing how to box, or not knowing boxing history slash stuff that happened in the past. And I've seen people talk about it in both ways. And if there's more, if, if there's more, please inform me in the comments. Alright, when you say you don't know nothing about boxing, in the sense of actually boxing, you can't really say much. Because you have to know fighting as a whole. You can you can predict the outcomes of many fights by knowing fighting as a whole. And what I mean by this is, you yourself actually know how to throw a proper punch, or have proper head and foot movements, etc. And I, and I doubt many people on here actually know fighting as a whole. People who have actually been in the ring are better at knowing a lot of that stuff than others. Also, knowing different fight techniques and different forms of fighting. And also studying fighting how things are supposed to be done because in just boxing you're not going to know all of that sometimes you'll learn those things but from the looks of it now I don't think so okay so on the history part of the phrase I've noticed that when people talk about the history part they're basically talking about how such and such beat such and such thing this thing uh, has never been done in the sport of boxing so why do they do it well, why do they want to do it now or stuff like that didn't happen, it happened like this. Now I'm sorry that I don't have any actual quotes that I have seen people say or type. I haven't been on the internet in forever and I've been kinda out of the fight role for a while focusing on me and, and instead of other fighters. So sorry for those whack, not so good examples that I just gave y'all. But in some cases, people are actually right. The other person don't know too much about boxing. But majority of the time, they say it when somebody is disagreeing with them. And I see it quite often when Floyd and Manny fans, with Floyd and Manny fans, but more so with with the over-the-top Manny fans, aka Paxhards, just because somebody doesn't agree with you sometimes doesn't mean you always got to go flinging that out. Like, if you want a real history lesson, I can give you one. Like, who was Terry McGovern? Whose record was 90, 31, 19, with 22 knockouts, 194 no decisions, and one no contest? Who was the first black boxer to, work, to win a world championship? And no, it wasn't Jack Johnson. What year did Marciano win the heavyweight championship? So now I'm just going to comment on some stuff around the boxing world. Okay, I'm going to start with the Pascal vs. Hopkins. I really didn't get a chance to see that fight live. But seeing on some of the websites where people said that Hopkins really won that fight and how they robbed him. I also seen where they were talk where there were talks of a rematch and that the rematch would take place in Ni Niagara Falls, Canada, or at least that's what I thought it said cuz I don't think it would take place in Niagara Falls, New York. So, if you know anything about that, feel free to drop it in the comments. I seen where somebody said that Bernard would have not would have needed a knockout to win the fight because he's not going to get a decision in Canada. And I agree with him unless it is real decisive. But I went and watched the fight on my cell phone on YouTube not too long ago, and I had to fight 114 to 112 for Pascal. But I'll go back and actually watch it on the computer so that way I can see everything better. But who do you guys think won the fight? Alright, Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather. Okay, as we all know, Floyd is, Floyd is in a lot of legal trouble right now, so he's probably not going to be fighting anytime soon. And plus he's in love right now, so boxing is probably one of the last things on his mind. And now it comes to Manny versus Shane. Okay, well at one point they were talking about Manny versus Berto, which I think would have been a good would have been a, been a good fight. I know Bernard Hopkins had made a comment about Manny not fighting any top black fighters with a slick style. Black when we say black, he means black as in black American. Not Clyde, because Clyde he's an African, not uh, not an American or a black American. And no, Shane does not have a slick style, just in case some of y'all might be thinking that. But I was thinking that Pacquiao versus Berto would be a good fight. I was thinking that Manny would probably win. But the more and more I thought about it, I wouldn't be surprised if Andre pulled off an upset. But of course, I would bet 
on Manny just to be on the safe side. So now we're so now we're stuck with Pacquiao versus Mosley. Pacquiao should win in my opinion. It should be an easy fight for Manny. But if you guys remember before Antonio Margarito's hand wrap exposure, he was beating everybody and Shane wasn't looking all that good. Shane was losing and just wasn't looking too good in his past fights. And Shane was actually supposed to lose that fight. Everybody thought Shane was going to lose. But Shane went in there and knocked Antonio out. But Antonio was never really a good fighter anyway. Well, to me, he wasn't. He's, uh, like I said in some of my other videos, to me, he's a bum. But, um, but would it be something, though, if Manny, um, if Shane did knock Manny Pacquiao out or something like that? That'd be something, even though I doubt it would happen. Alright, Cotto's next fight. So at one point, there was talks about Cotto versus Berto. But that fight is not going to happen. I think I saw someone where it said that Bob is close to a deal with Ricardo Mariorga. Um, sometime in May, so like Cotto versus Mayorga in May or something like that. That would be an interesting fight, but I would rather see Cotto versus Berto. I think Cotto is shot slash damaged goods now. First, he had the cheetah plastering him with hella uppercuts in their fight. And yes, I do believe Margarito was using illegal raps then. Then he had a hard fight with Clotty, which I felt he lost. They gave it to him because they were trying to set up a Pacquiao Cotto fight. Then he had the Pacquiao fight, so three hard fights back to back basically. So I think Cotto would lose to Berto. But don't get me wrong, I'm a very big Cotto fan, but I just think he would lose to Berto. I also think if he hadn't had all that punishment, that it would be a better fight. But at the same time, I think Berto would still beat him. Now I just want to make some brief comments and some brief questions to get y'all's input. And see what y'all think about a couple of stuff. Um, the Super 6, uh, the Super Middleweight Super 6 Tournament, I, can't, I forgot the official name of it. Um, from the beginning, I was saying how I thought, uh, I think Andre Ward was going to win. Some people were saying Carl Fox was going to win. A lot of people were saying Mikael Kessler was going to win. I think I even heard some Arthur Abraham, some, some people say Arthur Abraham was going to win. But the whole time, I've been saying Andre Ward was going to win. And so now that Andre Ward is doing his thing, people are coming out and actually saying that they think Andre Ward is going to win now. They're, now, they're, now they want to jump on the bandwagon. Um, also, who do you guys think was fight of the year? Somebody made a joke on boxing scene saying that uh, Polly should get it because he got a seven round stoppage. I think that's what it was. They also said that he should get a Mar <laughs> they, should, they said he should get Miracle of the Year, LOL, because of that. It's like he's not really known for uh, knocking people out. Another thing, another thing. The Ring Magazine has Manny as number one pound for pound and Floyd at number two pound for pound. They consider Manny a welterweight and they have Floyd number one welterweight and Manny number two welterweight. Look like since Manny is number one for pound for pound, they would have him number one welterweight or vice versa. What are you guys' thoughts on that? Also, speaking of pound for pound, and who the best fighter in the world is and all in all of in all of time, you can't really say that anybody's the best fighter or number one boxer, etc. Because we haven't seen everybody fight. There might be somebody over in India, Zimbabwe, or New Zealand, and they might be the number one fighter and the best or the best boxer in the world. We wouldn't even know it because we never seen them fight before. We never seen them fight before on TV. But what? But what you could say that they're number one that comes on TV. I think the best fighter of all time would ne that we know of is Bruce Lee. I think the best fighter that we know of today in today's era is Tony Jaa. I think the best mixed martial artist that we know of, or at least comes on TV is Anderson Silva. I think Floyd is a better boxer than Manny Pacquiao, but Manny should stay at number one pound for pound because we can't keep having them switch like that. If Floyd had never had the two retirements, then I think he should be number one. But you can't keep going and leaving like that. But I do think that they are the two best, but but do I think they're the, that they are the two best boxers? No. I've seen better boxers than both of them. But I do think they are probably the best ones that come on TV as of right now. But once again, it's Mr. Fight TV here, for, and thanks for watching my video. Hopefully, you all had a good holidays and a good happy uh, and a good New Year. If you like what you saw or heard, please subscribe. For those of you who don't know, I'm still kind of new to this, and I'm gradually getting the hang of it. Also, check out my other channel. All you gotta do is type in Gabriel Sweet Smith, G A B R I E L S W E E T. S M I T H Gabriel Sweetsmith, and in that channel, I'm actually working out and stuff. And if you like what you see there, subscribe to that or become a friend. We'll catch you guys later. Tell me what you think in the comments. Peace.